What's going on? It's Jason Heath here, and I'm talking to you today about thumb position and about a new book that came out that I'm really excited about on the topic. Now, you may very well be familiar with thumb position, but just in case you're a total beginner, thumb position is what we do to play the upper notes on the double bass. Bass players have traditionally been taught to use their first, second, and fourth fingers in the lower position, and once they hit the octave harmonic, to switch over and start using the thumb. There are two methods out there that have redefined thumb position for thousands of bass players. The first is Simplified Higher Technique by Franco Petrocchi, and in Petrocki's book, he outlines several different orientations for your hand. The first one is what he calls chromatic position, and that's where all the fingers are a half step apart from each other. The next one is the semi-chromatic position, where you've got a whole step and you've got two half steps, and then he has diatonic position, where you have two whole steps and one half step. And you can move this configuration anywhere on the bass. It's a wonderful way of looking at the instrument, and your hand becomes a measuring device. That's totally revolutionary tech for the bass world. The other method that has changed so many lives is Francois Raboth's new technique for the double bass. And I just did a video about what people use to get introduced to this technique. It's called Progressive Repertoire by George Vance. I'll link up here if you want to check out that review. But Raboth divides the bass into six positions, and three of those positions are in thumb position. It's an amazing way to look at the instrument. It's Raboth's fourth position, his fifth position, and his sixth position. They're all based around natural harmonics and that completely changed the way I think about the bass. So both of those ways of looking at the bass are incredibly helpful as we're getting into the upper positions, but this new book that we're talking about today, The Thumb Transition Zone, it addresses a need that I've struggled with for years and I know so many people have been trying to figure out, which is when do you implement thumb position? Now Petrocki brings the thumb all the way back to the D on the G string, which works well for me, but I have big hands and my bass is well set up, and that's a little bit of a reach for a lot of people. And regardless, how do you get in into these thumb transition areas where you use the thumb below the octave harmonic. It's a real struggle and it's something that Chris Kosky, who wrote The Thumb Transition Zone, has really done a wonderful job of addressing. Okay, let's dive into the book. Here it is, Thumb Transition Zone, and we've got a little introduction just kind of describing what this is all about and the different hand positions and shapes that you explore, very related to Petrocki, and here we go. So chapter one is the E position. This is putting the thumb on E and it's all about getting into it and getting out of E position. Very, very well thought out. Great exercises. I've played through all of them multiple times. Interval exercises, arpeggios, just really well conceived of. Chapter two is the F position. That's with the thumb on F and again, similar idea. Um, but every single one has different etudes and different exercises and targeting exercises. She has you sing, which is super cool, uh, and even has spots where you can stop and take a break. It's built into the music, uh, which I find helpful. I do take a break because these can be tiring when you're starting to work on these exercises. Chapter three is the F sharp position. So just like the others, your thumb's going to go on F sharp in a similar exploration of etudes and summer jazz etudes and tunes that Chris has created. And some of them are classical and there's just a great variety. Chapter four is the E flat position, which Chris was originally not going to include because it's a bit more of an open position, but you can achieve this position just about anybody by rolling your hand and Chris has a video describing what that is exactly but it's just a way to open up to be able to reach these intervals and like the others explorations exercises targeting exercises major and minor sketch that's a really cool tune had a lot of fun doing that one and then in chapter five mixed positions and music so you put it all together these are really cool tunes that she wrote for this uh, and lots of different characters and chapter five gives you an opportunity to not only move around the bass but also check out examples of repertoire she starts off with classical repertoire so many many familiar pieces and then jazz tunes and what 
thumb transition zone makes sense for these tunes. It's just a great book. I highly recommend you check it out. That's a look inside the thumb transition zone by Chris Kosky. I highly encourage you to check it out. We've got it linked in the description below. If you're interested in learning more about thumb position, I put out a review of David Allen Moore's wonderful course fractal fingerings recently. We'll link up to that up top so you can learn more about thumb position there. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.